What's up, guys? This is a uh, this is a two part review. So this is the second part. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the second part. I don't know which one I put up first, but <laughs> it is what it is. The uh, light blue box uh, looks like another rose gold hit on the uh, kit logo here on the side of the box. I'm wait for that focus to kick back up. Should be good there. I'm gonna roll you up to the size portion of the box. Got a little hole here. A17 plus Kith TR. Uh, vape pink. Uh, vape pink. Light blue. I don't know if there's light blue on the shoe though whatever uh light blue is a box <laughs> i got them in a size 10 and a half like i did everything else today uh, a little bit snug could have definitely went a half a size up in these but i do like a snug fit so i'm not mad at it 0.5 up is not an issue uh, i'm gonna open this box up real quick oh yeah there's one last thing there's like an adidas branding on the top of the box you probably can't see oh there it goes you might be able to see it there adidas branding on top of all of the boxes uh kit and adidas paper and the light blue this time thing i have one shoe out already so i'm not gonna Whatever, we're just gonna do a cut scene real quick. Fire, clean, and let's get this going. So, <clears throat> this was probably the other shoe I really wanted aside from the Copa. Uh, I was in love with this shoe. I saw it, I was like, all white, summertime, denim shorts, we're gonna win, salmon pull tabs, not too crazy, very subtle, sock liner, breathable, I win. Um, shoe was great. I didn't realize there was all this knit going on on the front portion of the toe, of the, uh, the toe area, and I also didn't know that this was well the technology. I just assumed that it was like an all white, uh, knit going across the whole thing and I, I didn't pay enough attention but you could definitely see it in the pictures because I looked after uh, these three stripes are 3M for the uh, Adidas logo so those are all 3M on the striping uh, this is not 3M but that's kind of dope though anyway let me roll back over to the medial side so you got this welded technology all across the mid panel rolling into the heel cup area three stripes are in 3M and then you got a prime knit across the entire upper, almost like the inside of the Copa, had that elastic neoprene sock liner. It feels like that a little bit. Very restrictive, but comfortable, which I like. Um, uh, there's a lace system, which is another reason why I kind of liked it, because I don't like just a base flat area in here unless it's all very, very tonal and there's nothing else on here. So like this welded, te welded technology could go, um, the three stripes can go, and basically just the knit and the laces, I would be fine with that. But that on foot, they're really dope. So when they do the on foot, you can see what I'm talking about. But laces are on there, uh, flat laces in there in white with a, uh, feels like a metal aglet on this bad boy. Yeah, these might be metal aglets actually. They're a little bit heavier too, that's why I can tell. Also, you got some extra laces in here and a very thin rope lace, which is light blue and white, and it looks like a salmon and white, all with the metal aglets going through them in white. Um, toe cap or toe box area has two different kinds of knit. One is like a cross weave and the other is like an elongated stitch or more like a neoprene kind of elastic. Kind of clean, feels comfortable, not too obtrusive. A little bit of glue going on down here, but I didn't even notice that until just now, so it gives a shit. This is also one of the turf shoes, so you have this different midsole. Um, I don't, I'm not too familiar with it because I've never played soccer and I've never been on turf. Well, I've been on turf before, but just not in these. Um, but. I, it doesn't bother me. I, like I said, I tried everything on before I did the review because I wanted to know what the fit was like while doing the review. Very, very clean. Um, you don't feel this also. They're, they're like all these different shapes, going, all the same shape going across the entire thing for traction, obviously. But you don't feel any of that. It is a little bit stiffer than Boost, like I had mentioned. But as you can see, I'm still pressing in on this. It's not super hard where it's like, oh man, I'm walking on fucking wood. It, it's pretty comfortable. Pull tabs are in the salmon. You got uh, Kith in 3m is that 3m no it's not 3m uh just kith in the back here it's like a, a very rugged suede or like a, the inside cut of suede basically or leather whatever you want to go with um on both pull tabs very soft though so i'm not mad at it clean and you got the uh, kith flamingo on the bottom portion of the footbed there let me see if I, why why is that Making that shadow. Whatever, anyway. So you got a flamingo, you got light blue, you got a soccer ball, and you got flamingo, or kith, a flamingo, a soccer ball, and then flamingos underneath that. That's probably mirrored on both. It is. And the uh, only other differential is the Adidas on the back pull tab of the left shoe and the kith on the right shoe. I'm gonna hop, I did the lace already, did the lace already. So I'm gonna hop into the other shoe real quick. I'm pretty sure the timestamp going up, so cutscene. Uh, last but not least, um, let's go with Adidas across the top here and the deep up. You probably can't see it now, whatever, we get shit. Uh, same thing, rose gold on the salmon box, kith branding in rose gold. Is there anything on the side? Yeah, more kith branding. Turn it up this way. 
Ortholite. I don't even know. I guess that's what's inside of the shit. I, I just paid attention to that now and I've been looking at shoes all day long. A16 Plus Kith Ultra Boost. This is a 10 and a half as well. Uh, I originally started with a 10 and a half on this shoe because I know it's there's no laces. So why would I go a half a size up and then be stuck? not having a shoe that fits. So, 10 and a half, a uh, whole bunch of C granny, C granny, vape pink, whatever on here. Soccer, soccer. Anyway, let's open it up. Pink paper this time. They didn't even wanna like layer my shoe with it, but it's cool. Uh, I guess, what, oh yeah, this is the one extra thing that came in here, which should have came with the Ultra Boost from the Aspen collection, is a, um, oh my God, how did I forget the name of this thing? Doo -doo -doo. It's a heel thing for your heel with the foot and I, I forgot what it's called. Well, just drew a complete blank. Anyway, that's an extra piece that's in there to help you put the shoe on. I can't buy, whatever. What the fuck is that thing called? No, phone, my phone. I gotta Google it. All right. Six and a half hours later. The thing you use to put on shoes. Let's see, shoehorn, perfect. Throw that on the floor. And, and inside this box, there is a shoe. <laughs> I'm sure there was like a crazy edit just now, but inside this box, they give you a shoehorn. The, yeah, you know what it's for. I'm, not, I'm never, maybe I'll use this for the, on foot. All right, let's keep it out. Uh, Cutscene. All right, let's get into this. Put my shoehorn down here. <sighs> so the piece that everyone is going crazy for, um, I have a tendency, I explained this to someone or multiple people today, that if I don't like a shoe, but I'm there for the release, um, nine times out of 10, I'm going to purchase it at the lowest possible price, uh, instead of waiting for myself to like it a little bit more than I do, and then having to pay like a full resale price. It's just it's just a thing that I formed in my, uh, my days of collecting, but anyway, not bad. <laughs> I was hating at first, but on foot, it's definitely better than I expected it to be. Number one, especially because there's no laces. I always feel a type of way because of no laces. Plus, this is very obtrusive to me. The three stripes on the side here, they're very big, uh, a little bulky. I feel like it takes up a lot of the shoe, and I was I was on the fence about it, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie at all, like, this thing is trash. Um, I was completely wrong, it is not trash. And I like to eat my own words sometimes, so I will be the first one to say, this is a very well executed shoe. The knit itself across the whole thing is very thick, very comfortable, form fitting. Um, I do like to have my shoe feel as though my foot isn't spilling over the sides of it. So this little bit thicker knit, um, a little bit more solidarity to it, if you will. It, it just feels good on your foot. I tried it on, I was like, wow, this, this is really nice. And they are 10 and a half and they fit perfect. So TTS definitely on these. Like I said, there's no lace, so you're not gonna be able to tighten them up at all. Um, so be weary of that. You don't even need the shoehorn for this, but it does come with it. But I'll probably use it during the on foot thingy with the put my phone there. Anyway, um, not really much to say about it. Salmon colorway. You got two white hits in the uh, the heel cups, the uh, three stripes in 3M, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, in 3M, uh, boost midsole, white outsole. Very, very simple. Two pull tabs in salmon as well. Kith branding on one heel portion, Adidas branding on the other. If you'll notice, both of the shoes or all four of the shoes that I've reviewed, I put them side by side because that's kind of like the scheme that they were going with. There was the turf shoe, there was the boo shoe, there was the turf shoe and there was the boo shoe and the mundial and the uh, the copa so just a heads up on that that's kind of why i did them together so you could see the fits on both uh instead of just doing both of the hype shoes in one uh, i felt like that would have been kind of asinine and maybe you can view something that you might have not liked before and uh see it and be like wow that is kind of dope maybe i will cop so always broaden your uh, your horizon when it comes to shit like that. But either way, very, very clean. I'm going to do an on foot. The uh, footbed has the same thing as the other shoe. It says Kith Flamingo on there with a the soccer ball. There must be a fire outside of my house because all I hear is sirens. But very, very clean. I'm, uh, I guess I'm going to do a... Uh, I guess a pickup of all the clothes. I did get a lot of clothes. I got a lot of clothes. Uh, if you guys aren't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button. Uh, if just watch the video, I'm gonna put it up. I'm not even gonna ask you guys if you wanna see the apparel stuff, because I'm sure you do. So I'm gonna make a video for the apparel stuff. So subscribe, uh, hit the thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, hit me in the comment section. And um, I think I'm out of here. Peace.